We obtained copies of Zul's vet visits, showing an overall healthy dog despite concerns about his neck. In the days after that video of canine officer James Hampton and Zul went viral, Salisbury leaders made it a point to show off the four-year-old German Shepherd, including at this March 2nd news conference when Chief Jerry Stokes first discussed the video. You can see him here today, has suffered no effects from this incident. Two days later, Salisbury police took Zul to Concord Parkway Animal Hospital. According to this vet report, Zul was doing well after an incident involving his neck in October 2020. Besides a suspected ear infection due to an allergy, the vet found, quote, no obvious musculoskeletal or neurological damage from this incident in October. The vet continues, I do not see any reason that Zul should not be trained for police work. But this wasn't the first time Zul had an issue with his neck. According to this vet visit from June 2020, an officer took Zul to a local vet for a checkup and wrote Zul was doing well, but, quote, sometimes it seems like it's hard for him to breathe. The vet found Zul was overall healthy and she suspected, quote, his shock collar was slightly too tight on his neck. She loosened the collar a few notches. In the weeks since the video was released, Zul remains off duty. The department says it plans to review its canine policies. Dr. Roy Taylor has worked as a police chief for several state and federal agencies. He has spent years as a canine officer and has been following developments in this incident. I would look to find people outside of the uh, agency that may be able to contract with us to provide the training like those officers were trying to do themselves. We reached out to Officer Hampton through his family and requested an interview to get his side of the story. We're waiting to hear back from him. In Salisbury, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte.